two minor grade games today. 88 points have been scored, and this shows how hard it is for the defence. All right, a change of possession. Canterbury in with the ball, and the referee is calling out Pat Jarvis. Jarvis. Been Young and Coveney then, and after the play of the ball, and you were following the ball, Rex Coveney uh, attempted to punch Young. And then hold his arm. He's holding it now. I don't know whether it's a bite he's claiming. Knocked sideways in the tackle. Who's that manly player down as Alan Thompson? Graham Hughes to his brother Gary. Back inside to Chris Mortimer. Beautiful footwork. Runs into heavy work there from Boyd. And a punch has been thrown by Steve Mortimer. That player's locked together again. Trillich is in there as the peacemaker, trying to keep them apart. Graham Hughes is going on, trying to uh, incite a little bit more. Still going on out the back there with Chris Mortimer. And Boyd being dragged away forcibly by Davis. It's a terrible scrum. Canterbury have come up with it. I don't know why they don't use that big food as Greg Brentholt. Well, Davis is a very stupid boy. He put a swinging right arm in there. The touch judge was standing 10 metres away and the referee was there. Tony Armstrong injecting himself into the three-quarter line from the left wing. Gary Hughes. A little bit of sense comes in with a kick. Steve Mortimer there. Walker has it and took it well. And Mortimer took Walker well. Rebound. Is ever a, has there a scene as we watch the rain belt down? Canterbury 9, Manly 8. The number of times each side has given the ball back to the opposition. Coates loses the ball behind him. The referee says no knock on. Thompson. Rick Chisholm is now on the sideline, ready to go on. Graham Hughes. Canterbury will look to get that ball back into Manly territory and pound them. Brentnell. There's Chisholm waiting at the uh, entrance under an umbrella now. He goes on. Oh, close has put it down. It's a scrum inside the 22. Well, I'm not sure what Rod Reddy said to John Gosher, but I'd like to be as sure of winning uh, the pools that uh, he was showing him his hand, not to show him that he, he wasn't married or wasn't wearing a ring, I can assure you. It was something much more serious than that. Well, if it is serious, he should... Martin, Mackenzie, Price... Walker's going to be penalised for a high one, but there was no malice in it. Say it again. Also, it's a winter crillage. They had another little flare-up in that scrum. Olaf and Broadhurst shaving up. And Boyd is in there. I think uh, Hastings. Webb was down on the bottom. The two hookers. And Gosh has got a game with an enormous amount of feeling on his hands at the moment. There's the scrum that collapsed. There's uh, Gerard throwing a punch there at that stage. And there's plenty going on. That's Brown. Masterman, Ailiff, Cleal, Les. Graham Wynn got a good straight left there. That'll keep him back his distance in the play of the ball. Manly putting plenty of pressure on the Western Suburbs in the early part of this game. Their defence is quite sound. I notice Western Suburbs at times, they're not lining out. Well, uh, six and seven. There's a penalty against Terry Lamb. He threw a very sharp little right hand at the face of Phil Blake touch judge came in to report it. Yes, they're, they're certainly pushing each other around in the tackle and uh, obviously uh, looking to get superiority over each other in the early part of the game. There's the little uh, exchange from...
walked on. And now wide. And the ball stolen from him. McNamara didn't like that. He let go with a short left jab. But got Steve Mortimer as he was on the ground. And sheer frustration from McNamara as he had the ball taken from him by the little halfback. Here it is. You can see as he's going to the ground, watch Mortimer grab the ball off him. Then as they fall to the ground, that's when McNamara took exception to what Mortimer had done. You can see, see that left going in there. Masterman. It's Tobin. Getting under a swing, swinging arm tackle there by Peter Cross, who's going to be called out and spoken to for that. Here it is again. Keep your eye on Peter Cross as he comes across now into this tackle. There you'll see his right arm going around Tobin's head and referee standing almost alongside. Uh, could not fail to pick it up. 